Hello everyone, welcome to a discussion on the topic Format and Service to Balance Sheet of Banking Companies of Unit 4 Bank Accounts for BCom 3rd Semester Corporate Accounting Part 1. Dear students, throughout this session, we will discuss about explanation of format and service relating to balance sheet of banking companies. So this is what the format of balance sheet of a bank as per Form A of Banking Regulation Act 1949, the balance sheet of bank as on 31st March for the year. Here the balance sheet will be uh, divided in two parts. The first part here is the capital and liabilities and the second part is uh, the assets. In capital and liabilities part, we have the capital as a schedule number one, the third one is for the second one, reserve surplus schedule two, deposits under schedule three, borrowings under schedule four, and other liabilities and provisions under schedule number five. And uh, the amounts relating to the current year as well as the previous year are to be disclosed on the face of this uh, format. The second part related to the cap assets, here we have the service for uh, cash balance with Reserve Bank of India under schedule 6, balance with the bank and money at call and short notice under schedule 7, investments schedule 8, advances schedule number 9, fixed assets schedule number 10, other assets schedule number 11 and related to the current year and previous years amounts are to be taken under the respective heads. After making the total, we have to go for two more important items under this balance sheet. One is contingent liabilities under schedule 12 and uh, bills for collection under that. So now we have to take the explanation related to the schedules to balance sheet. Schedule 1 as disclosed in the balance sheet relates to sale capital. Under Schedule 1, Sell Capital, we have the items like uh, uh, Sell Capital for Nationalized Banks, Capital Fully Owned by Central Government, for banks incorporated outside India, the capital amount brought in by banks by way of startup capital, the amount of deposit kept with the Reserve Bank of India under Section 11, Subsection 2 of Banking Regulation Act, and then we have to make the total. Then the third part under the Sell Capital here is for other banks. Authorized capital, issued capital, subscribed capital, called up capital are to be taken and from that we have to deduct the calls unpaid and if there is any forfeited sales, those are to be added back to this. Then we have to go for the second schedule for reservoir surplus. Yenella schedule gulu iliwe avello fixed ayirontau. Schedule number one sale capital, schedule number two reservoir surplus, itara fix ayirontau. Hagadre reservoir surplus schedule number two the yenin the the nodana. So one is statutory reserve, here we have to take the opening balance first, then to that we have to add the additions during the year and if there is any deductions, those are to be deducted. Then we have to go for the next, here capital reserve, opening balance is to be taken first, to that we have to add additions during the year and if there is any deductions, those are to be deducted. Then the third one under this schedule number two is share premium, the opening balance, to that we have to add additions. If there is any directions, those are to be directed. Then we have to go for revenue and other reserves. Here opening balance is to be taken first and to that we have to add additions during the year and subtract the directions during the year. And we have to take the next thing balance in profit and loss account during the current year. And uh, by these we have to make the total and the total of current year and previous are to be taken under the respective columns. And now we have to go for schedule number 3 for deposits. Here there are various types of deposits, those are to be taken into consideration. Here are demand deposit from banks and from others, savings bank deposits, deposits from other banks, from others. The total of all these three are to be taken and then we have to go for deposits of branches in India and deposits of branches outside India, then with the total is to be taken. Then schedule number 4 relates to borrowings, where the borrowings in India and borrowings outside India are to be taken. As far as borrowings in India are concerned, we have Reserve Bank of India borrowings, borrowings from other banks, borrowings from other institutions and agencies. And then we have to take the borrowings outside India. 
and if there is secure borrowings included in one and two above those are to be noted here and schedule 5 is related to other liabilities and provisions where we have the items like uh, bills payable inter office adjustments net is to be taken then interest accrued and other including provisions if any are to be taken and the schedule number 5 as other liabilities and provisions and then we have to make the total and as far as the assets part of the statement of assets and liabilities are concerned there is the balance is concerned we have the items from schedule number 6 as a cash and balance with reserve bank of india here we have two types of items one is cash in hand including foreign currency notes and balance with reserve bank of india in current account and other accounts and in schedule 7 we have the item like uh, balance with bank banks and money at call and short notice where we have various types of items here balance with banks and minute call and not no, short notice in india and outside india in india we have balance with banks in current account in other deposit accounts money at call and short notice with bank with other institutions and in outside india we have the items like in current accounts the balance in other deposit accounts balance in money at call and short notice and the total is to be taken to the balance sheet then we have schedule number 8 for investments. The investments in India and investments outside India are to be taken into consideration. Investments in India are referred with uh, government securities, other approved securities, shares, debentures and bonds, subsidiaries and joint ventures and others to be specified clearly here. And uh, as far as uh, investments outside India are concerned, we have the items like uh, government securities including local authorities subsidiaries and joint ventures abroad and other investments to be specified and the grand total is to be taken to the balance sheet and uh, as far as schedule number nine is concerned that is related to advances where we have the advances like uh, uh, bills purchased and discounted cash credits odd apps and loans repayable on demand term loans and uh, the, we have also items about the advances like uh, uh, secured by tangible assets, covered by bank or government guarantee, unsecured and we have advances in India, priority sector, public sector, banks, others. We have advances outside in India also, due from banks, due from others, bills purchased and discounted, syndicated loans, others. The grand total is to be taken to the balance sheet under schedule number 9 as advances. And in schedule number 10, we have fixed assets like uh, premises. So these are to be taken at cost as per balance sheet, last balance sheet and to that we have to make the additions during the year and if there is any deductions or uh, the depreciations to the date that is to be adjusted and uh, we have also to be taken the other fixed assets including furniture and fixtures and these are to be taken at cost as per last balance sheet and if there is any additions during the year that those are to be taken and if there is any deductions or the depreciation to the date those are to be adjusted from these assets and whatever the total arises that total is taken to the balance sheet with schedule number 10 as fixed assets and as far as the schedule number 11 is concerned we have other assets here the asset, other assets like uh, inter office adjustments interest accrued tax paid in advance or tax directed source stationary and stamps non-banking assets acquired in satisfaction of claims and others these are the other assets which are to be taken under schedule number 11 in balance sheet. And we have schedule number 12 for quantities and liabilities. Where we have the items like uh, claims against the bank not acknowledged as debts, liability for partly paid investments, liability on account of outstanding forward exchange contracts, guarantee given on behalf of constitutions in India or outside India, acceptances, endorsements, and other obligations other items for which the bank is contingently liable and the total is taken to the balance sheet under serial number 12 as contingent liabilities. So, dear students, throughout this session, we have discussed about the format of balance sheet of banking companies and we also made the explanation of service to balance sheet of banking companies. And in the next session, we will discuss about the information about the format of uh, profit and loss of banking companies and uh, Along with that, we have to make the explanation of schedules to profit and loss account of banking companies. These are my references. We can go through these things. Thank you.